fractal. 75 build here. Fractal engineering. Got to. Uh, it comes with the uh, Mobila V4 frame, and you got to uh, you got to cut the, the hoops off this guy here. So I've already got started. Pretty, pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. Just want to go through. Make sure you cut in between all these little spots. Here on the frame. Basically, cut one right here, what you can see. Pretty easy to do. If anyone's kind of hesitant, I guess, to cut in the, this frame, it's, it's really not that big of a deal. Just uh, be careful, pay attention when you're cutting. Make sure that, uh, not so hard. Everything cuts kind of flush anyway. Yeah, pretty easy, just like that. Cut all those little connecting pieces out. And it almost finished. Uh, let me cut this battery tray out, and then the hoop should be loose, basically, after that. And then they mount to this little carbon fiber frame here. Nice little frame. So I'm not in the, uh, the happy model. Focus there. A happy model, uh, 0802, 25 thousands. Let's see if that'll focus. There you go. I uh, ended up going with the Runcam Nano 4. I uh, figured this would be a nice little eyeball in the sky. You feel me? <laughs> but uh, uh, I guess if you're doing the uh, Happy Model Yale RS uh, board, X12. Uh, it comes with a uh, camera connector. The VTX is on the board. Uh, but as you see, these cables don't match. So, um, you gotta do some desoldering here. Or, some people may have some cables laying around. Um, end up using this guy so I can just kind of connect them and be done but I uh, guess that'll be a little bit later on here uh, nonetheless yeah like I said the, uh, the happy model X12 AIO ELRS version there's the uh, the antenna right there Well, that's what we're running with on that. Uh, it did come with a uh, PH 2.0. And I've talked to a couple guys in the FPV community. And they say these are okay for putting around the house. But there, I guess, is a noticeable uh, difference, I guess, in the, uh, the PH 2.0. And the B, the new BT 2.0s, uh, which I've got a couple of them on the way. Um, other than that, pretty simple. 
whoop build. There's something to put around for the whoop season here. Uh, it's about to start getting cold here. And something to mess around the house with. Uh, I figured this would be pretty durable. Um, hold up pretty well. Unless uh, I'm going to keep cutting it to hoops here. Basically, uh, get rid of this battery tray and uh, we'll, uh, we'll throw this thing together here. I don't know if I built it all on, on here, but uh, this gives you kind of a good idea. I just wanted to post a a little video of what you get in the package. Um, it obviously comes with the Mobula V4 frame. So I'm hacking away out here. It's a nice little uh, carbon fiber frame. Uh, you do get your cam mounts. Uh, TPU cam mounts. Uh, it comes with two of them. These are for your uh, bigger batteries, 1S batteries, or uh, 450s and a little bigger, whatever you're running. But, uh, it comes with uh, some little extra long motor screws, obviously, uh, to get through the, uh, the carbon fiber and uh, your hoops there. And you can see that's how they're going to sit on that. Nonetheless, uh, yeah, comes with some screws. Uh, basically, the box. Like I said, the, uh, the other little TPU mount, I can't think of what size battery these these are. They're one else, but I can't think of uh, what the other ones those are. They're, that's a small battery. Uh, and that, it's a uh, pretty well-made frame. I have no complaints so far. Uh, it looks like it's going to go together pretty easy here. Um... That's about all I got, honestly. Like I said, just want to keep packing away at your frame. You want to get your hoops all here. And then we'll cut away. We'll uh, keep packing away at her a little bit. Just like that. Stack up our hoops. Well, I do like that. Uh, they do send some TPU mounts for your battery. Yeah, they seem pretty, pretty strong. But uh, I would like a way, obviously, try to uh, toilet tank the battery on this guy. Um, I just think that, uh, you know definitely gonna get some crashes uh i know with the battery sitting long ways versus toilet tank that the, uh, the batteries do tend to come out uh toilet tank of them uh it doesn't seem to happen as much but uh um i talked to another guy in the community there in the v community uh, and hopefully there's a a print for the fractal uh, 75 and 65 build that uh, you can get to basically toilet tank that guy on there. Um, I guess it's a preference, whatever you want to do, really. But nonetheless, yeah, got all of our hoops off here. I still gotta cut these little tabs off, every one of them. But uh, don't be afraid to. Hack away at this frame. It's honestly no big deal. Um, you can jump on numerous websites, I know, and order more. But this uh, Mobile 4 frame seems to be one of the tougher ones out of uh, out of the bunch of work frames that I've I've messed with. Uh, obviously,
We've got a few here. Oh, there's the Mobula 1S ERLS version. Haven't even had a chance to fly this guy yet. All bound up. Ain't had a chance to, to rip it around yet. Uh, if we get a chance to here soon, I'm pretty busy. We got a, another baby on the way here soon. So I've been trying to get uh, ready for all that. Uh, it's a whole lot going on, if you can imagine. Just some old dudes on Fry Sky that I built. Uh, nothing special. The old Franken Roop. But uh, the Mobula frames seem to be some pretty tough dudes. You see, these things have taken some pretty good hits. And these frames just keep on a ticking. Um, what about these guys? Beta 75 frames. Pretty chintzy. I was going to use these on the Fractal build, but uh, I just don't like how deep the ducks are versus the Mob Mobula ducks. They're just something, something about these guys. I, it seems like these bo burn motors up. I don't know. But well, nonetheless. I got some backup frames here for the winter time. Let's see what happens. Like I said, don't be afraid to cut your hoops. Um, I want to continue to build this. Obviously, I'm not going to build the whole thing here. Um, pretty easy to build a whoop. Uh, if you've been in this for a while or know what you're doing here, it, uh, it's pretty easy. This is all plug and play type stuff. Uh, is just kind of getting it together and then we'll jump over into the uh, flight controller configurator and we'll do some flashing all that good stuff and see if we can't get this thing in the air pretty soon but uh, I don't know I hope you enjoyed the video like I said I'm not it's not the full build but uh, I just wanted to say uh, some of you guys might be scared to cut into the frame it's not real hard to do. Pretty easy. Just make sure you cut everything really fresh. And uh, eh, some of you guys got an old lady with a, a nail file or whatnot laying around the house. Let me steal one of those and fix your little rough edges here. But, uh, nonetheless, it. Uh, Fun little build, really well made. I mean, this is, I'm pretty excited about this, honestly. Heads over at uh, Infinity Loops, uh, it's the one that got me kind of interested into uh, looking into this thing. Uh, I think you can watch his full build video. I'm pretty sure he's got one but, uh, posted now. Um, that's where I'm going to head over, actually, when I'm done here to uh, figure out the uh, firmware flashing and all that good stuff, man. That's a uh, cool thing about the FPV community. Everybody kind of helps everybody out. And it's just what makes it a cool hobby. But, uh, like I said, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, thanks for watching.